Listen, I didn't want to have to bring out the Billy Club for a second time in the last three videos, but some people on the internet just need a good metaphorical <laughs> whooping. Now this pandemic, in addition to sucking a fat one, has, you know, it exposes people. It exposes the crazies. It exposes people with low levels of intelligence and it exposes people's character. And it's all happening in real time on the internet through Twitter and other social media platforms. Back when things were just starting to get serious in the US, I remember I was in a group chat and a few of my buddies, we were joking about, you know, oh, who's gonna be the first YouTuber to get coronavirus and click it for to get a bunch of views and stuff haha ha, funny jokes and obviously we joke about it but in the back of my mind knowing that obviously people were going to do that and whether it was clickbait or just you know misinformation there's all kinds of camps of coronavirus content now i imagine the overwhelming discourse around this virus is is reasonable and respectful right it's people just wanting to be part of the global conversation individuals and organizations chiming in because everyone is affected on a global level, nobody is not affected by this with, with few exceptions. But as history has proved time and time again, it always seems to be the idiots that somehow have the loudest megaphones. COVID-19! You have the blatant misinformation being spread by these conspiracy theorists and weird ass online gurus, the type of content that made it so YouTube had to demonetize all COVID content across the board for the first several months of this because they were scared that advertisers were gonna get scared when they saw like one of their ads run against a video of someone suggesting you drink bleach to cure the coronavirus or some shit. Which did happen, by the way. I have absolutely no doubt that you could cure any kind of corona-based virus within 48 hours using an MMS protocol. Then there's the incessant politicizers who just cherry pick whatever information they want to help push whatever agenda they have that week and continue to drive a larger partisan wedge down the center of the country. You see that a lot on Twitter and it is exhausting, but that's all I'll say about it because politics is definitely not in the wheelhouse of this YouTube channel. Then there is the uh, certain religious figureheads like my boy Kenny Copeland, which if you watch the channel, you know we touched on recently. Total legend. <laughs> You are destroyed forever, <laughs> and you will never be back. <laughs> he uploaded that one just after my last video went live, and I was so pissed that I missed it. But this man, I mean, he just keeps on hitting home runs. I blow the winds of God on you. There's also the 5G is causing coronavirus conspiracy theorists. I guess you got to lump them in with the blatant misinformation camp and I'm not going to talk about them at all beyond acknowledging that they exist right now. Personally, I think if you possess the capacity in your wet noodle to believe something wholeheartedly that is so moronic you should just do the right thing and scoop your brain out of your skull with a rusty ladle and donate it to your local genetic scientist so he can find a way to prevent your gene pool from existing in the future. Just do the right thing. So all this is going on. I'm sure there's a ton more I'm forgetting, but it is just a sea of insanity in content. My head is spinning, but my wheelhouse on this channel is typically other YouTubers or other social media personalities. So that's what we're gonna stick to. I could, off the top of my head, I'm thinking about the video that Deji made. Um, I know I've seen some tweets about Eli Socre, who God, we'll get into him. I can only imagine how, oh my God. Y'all will not believe what I just found, God. Body, I've been lifting weights and all that with the corona. You know what I'm saying? I've been, I've been pushing weights, so I've been pushing pounds with the corona. You know what I'm saying? Jesus. I also solicited you guys on Twitter last night to see if you had any examples of people making erroneous content concerning COVID-19. So we got some stuff to get through here. Right off the bat, we have Ricky Berwick promoting himself, par for the course. Honestly, if Ricky Berwick wasn't making 15 videos a day about the pandemic, I'd be worried that he actually had the virus. Billy Club not needed, that is on brand for Ricky. Wiley here linked the Pastor Spell Stimulus Challenge. 214 likes to 20,165 dislikes. This uh, ought to be good. <laughs> Hashtag Pastor Spell Stimulus Challenge. Could you at least ask God for a dead cat for your fucking camera mic, please? Three rules. Number one, April the 19th, 2020. It begins. Rule number two, donate your stimulus money. Rule number three, donate it to Evangelist, North American 
evangelists who haven't had an offering in a month, missionaries who haven't had an offering in a month. I'm donating my entire stimulus, $1,200. My wife is donating her stimulus. Congratulations. My son is donating his stimulus, 600 Your son hates Hashtag. you then. <laughs> Hashtag pastor spell stimulus challenge. This knobhead tried to create a hashtag challenge to get people to donate their stimulus check that they desperately need to live off of, to get them to donate that to him in his church because he hasn't had an offering in a week or two. Righteous. This is the idiot whose parishioner and friend died of COVID-19. He still won't take responsibility for keeping the church open and is still saying it's a politically motivated hoax. Big surprise there, he tried to continue having congregations and services after the lockdowns and uh, someone died because of it and now he wants all of your stimulus money. Shut the fuck up! Oh, why don't you stimulate these, Pastor Spell? My friend Bobby Duke with the hard call out of William Osmond on his We Tested Positive video. Now, my initial reaction was, Maybe this is a joke, I can't remember. I think maybe they're friends, but I thought I'd investigate anyways. And we do understand how bad that is for someone, for a doctor to tell you that you have a cold, but we can't test you for the V. A lot of you may know Will Osmond. He makes very interesting and funny YouTube videos. And uh, I actually had the good fortune of sharing a late night Denny's dinner with him last October with a group of people. Seems like a lovely guy. During the second test, I asked about me. What about me since I've been in contact with her? Uh, if she's positive, you're positive. Okay. If she has it, I have it. I experience nothing. How would you describe your experience with it? I'm really busy right now. So what was the question? How, how would you describe your symptoms in general? For me, it started out with really intense body aches, like the worst body pain I've ever had before. And I didn't, I didn't want to freak you out because I really didn't want to go to the hospital. So I tried to downplay it, but I was kind of scared. Actually? Yeah. Here's the whole timeline, feeling symptoms. So as it turns out, Bobby was joking about his recommendation. And in my opinion, William Osmond's video is, is a good example of how to do it right if you're gonna make a video about your experience with coronavirus. They documented the process as it was going on. They didn't run to social media the second something happened before they had any details or confirmation whether or not they had the virus. And then weeks later, after getting confirmation and things started to settle down, Will sat down and narrated the story and included the clips and made a nice cohesive video where they talked about their experience and he expressed his frustration with the process and the lack of testing capabilities and access to testing and just the, the general confusion and the uncertainty going around the world and in the medical field right now as well. Tax full execution, no billy club needed. Then we got this Matt Pat game theory video, who will survive uh, the censored virus. I remember this flash in the pan controversy like a month ago. You could say that this topic is infectious. You woo won't believe your ears when you hear the conclusion of this episode. Today we're talking about which video game character is least likely to survive a viral outbreak. A purely hypothetical, totally not inspired by real life events, global pandemic. A topic that just randomly popped into my head at the top of 2020 and I wanted to cover. So as the severity of the situation situation starts to sink in in March, people are dying, MatPat makes a fun quirky game theory video about which video game character would most likely to survive a, the virus, right? We have ourselves a cool new pullover. Immediately goes into plugging his merch and then later the video is sponsored by NordVPN. Now this ruffles a few feathers, people think it's insensitive that he's using this very topical pandemic to make a video that's going to get a bunch of views and he's going to make a bunch of money from it. Maybe it is insensitive. Personally, I'm indifferent, don't really care. I will tell you what did offend me though, how fucking cringe MatPat has become. I mean, just look at this clip. Ever since I grew the beard, everywhere I go, people won't stop calling me Matt Daddy. <laughs> I find that hard to believe. Guys, please stop. Do not call me Matt Daddy. And whatever you do, do not make hashtag Matt Daddy trend, okay? I repeat, I totally do not want Matt Daddy to become a thing. It would be awful if that nickname were to stick for me, okay? So again, just a public service announcement, Matt Daddy, not a thing. Thank you very much. <clears throat> Did you just use reverse psychology to try and get the hashtag Matt Daddy trending because you grew a couple pubes on your face? <laughs> That's worth two clubs. Get that cringe shit out of here, Matt. We got this one from Social Repos called So I Caught It. Um, but it's only been a day and a half. Now I haven't tested positive for it. Well, you see here, it says in the title that you caught it. 
but you don't actually know. And that seems to be the, the running theme on social media. People get the first whiff of a little sniffle or a turned ankle and they run to social media to shout from the mountaintops that they're about to die from COVID-19. Now, I don't really know much about social repos except a few years ago he was in the news cycle for something and it's hard to forget because he, it was, he dresses up like this, which uh, looks like fun. I think it's important to note that COVID-19 didn't just magically come in and exterminate all of life's other illnesses. Now, in his defense, this was two days before he was supposed to release a new album. He is a musician and he was supposed to send out a bunch of physical copies and he didn't want to do that. If he had an infection, he was going to get on the packages. So he was, in a sense, updating his audience that he was sick, uh, probably could have tied it a little better. And then two weeks later, he makes an update video. Just kind of went AWOL for a minute to, to, to recoup myself. And uh, yeah, I, I'm, uh, I'm not dead. Isn't that right? He lives! <laughs> Anyways, I watched the rest. He seems like a decent guy, and if you're into emo and being sad all the time, his, his music's not that bad, but he still gets a lazy club for clickbaiting without test results. Next up, we have I Think I Have COVID-19, the infamous video from Deji from a couple of weeks ago. Got an overwhelming amount of tweets about this. Hey guys, it's Deji. Um, I'm making this video not to alarm you or worry you, but I'm not sure if I have COVID-19. Like, what even is that intro? Like, uh, hey guys, I got a bit of a scratchy throat and I don't want to alarm you, but maybe, or maybe not. I, possibly I do, but I probably don't. I might, but I know I have 10 million subscribers, but I might have COVID-19, so I just wanted to make this shut the fuck up. My mom, she was sick. I'm not sure if she had it. She's fine now. So his mom gets sick, she's fine now, he's feeling a little shitty, uh, nobody's been tested, let's go ahead and just make a video called I Think I Have COVID-19 for my 10 million subscribers. Brilliant move. I do feel achy, but I'm not sure if it is COVID-19. I don't want to wish for the worst because I'm not like that. You don't want to wish you had COVID-19? I would certainly hope not. The fact that you even said that makes me a little suspicious that you do, because, you know, think of all the attention and the sympathy that you'd get. Just to be safe, I am self-isolating. I will keep you updated. All right? Appreciate it. I will it. keep you updated. Thanks. I am scared to, to test what? if it is COVID-19, because I don't, I don't want to I don't wanna know or anything. I know you guys will tell me to get it tested, but it's more of a fear thing. I am too scared to. What? Well, uh, what a pussy, dude. Yeah! That's one club right off the bat. You're gonna make a video for your millions of subscribers. Oh, guys, I think I have uh, COVID-19, but you don't have the nuts. You, you, you're too afraid to get tested for it. That that radiates more pussy than OnlyFans.com. All the things that I am going through, I can handle it. I'm just, I'm just trying my best. Classic sympathy farming. I uh, am also drinking water with lemon, hot water with lemon. Because I heard that's really good as well. You heard it here, folks. If you think you have COVID-19, step one, make a YouTube video even though you don't know for sure. Step two, water with lemon. You'll be back to full health and getting in very public fights with your family in no time. But I'm not going to wish for the worst. Why do you keep saying that? Richie? Don't come in. I haven't heard from you in a while. What? What's, what's funny? You look ridiculous. You should leave. <laughs> why are you funny? You could get infected. Why, why honestly. Are you, why are your feet like uncovered? So in his follow up video two days later, <laughs> He's fine. Imagine that. They're doing a fun little skit where he's pretending to chase down his girlfriend full of germs, covered in his hazmat suit. Hilarious. Hey guys, it's Deji, COVID-19. Obviously, there, have, there are people saying I'm doing this for views and everything. It's disgusting and it's sad. It's actually pathetic. Is it? And it's sad that a lot of people think that's how, that's what I would want to do. That, that I'm actually trying to profit off of the COVID-19 virus. Disgusting. I don't want to wish for the worst, okay? But is it really a stretch for people to think that given the current transition from two days ago to how you're feeling now? The fact that you go on in this video to basically say it was asthma related or something. And also, I'm not, I'm not wishing for the worst, but maybe you should have thought about that before uploading a video saying that you thought you had COVID-19 to your 10 million subscribers. I'm not wishing for the worst. I'm just saying, not wishing, saying. She, uh, she gave me my inhaler before waking up my parents, she gave me my inhaler to use. That did fix it, so that was, that's a good sign to show that my inhaler, you know, can actually, could, you know, could fix it. I don't want to wish 
for the worst. I've said it already, but apparently his inhaler fixed it, which is good news because that was what I didn't wish for, the worst, which would have been his inhaler not fixing it because he actually had COVID-19. But that's not what I wish for. I don't want to wish for the worst, and we did not get what I did not wish for. Thank God. God. Now I'm beating up on him a little bit, right? But I don't I don't genuinely think he was like, yeah, let's upload a I have COVID video to get a bunch of views and money. I don't think that. I just think Deji was susceptible to the climate of fear in the world. He let it get a hold of him and he just lacks any sort of critical thinking skills that could have been like, hmm, maybe I should think twice before pressing upload on this one. Right? Maybe that, no critical thinking skills. Don't think you're a bad guy, but you get one club for being a bonehead in this case. And finally, that brings us to the ringleader of lobotomized internet dullards, Eli Socre. Gaz. You may remember my video about this guy a couple years back. He's the guy's guy. You remember that? Guys, y'all will not believe what I just found, guys. I was walking through the park on my early morning jog, guys, 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 guys. guys, guys. Let's see how he's handling this pandemic. We don't have our son anymore. My son is alive. I think I got the coronavirus, guys. I'm sick prank on girlfriend. I don't have the coronavirus anymore. My girlfriend does not feel well. She has it. Then my personal favorite, being a father myself. My newborn son has the illness, followed up by 10 signs you have the illness and how to get rid of the illness. Now, I simply can't bring myself to put you lovely guys and girls through more than just a few clips of his content to provide context. So I underwent the self-torture of going through the videos I just rattled off so we can see what we're up against here. These two videos, I just cannot be bothered. Clickbaiting your one month old son is is so epic. Uh, I think I got the coronavirus, guys. Hey yo, what's good YouTube? And Cray Cray Gang. It's your boy Lost Cray in the building, man. Coming at y'all with a video, man. Um <coughs> <coughs> The perfectly timed cough. So as you guys can tell about the title. Your boy have not been feeling well lately, man. It's crazy right now because I don't know, like, what's going on. I don't know what I have, you know? Like, it could be a regular flu. It could be a, a regular cold because on my girlfriend's birthday, I was driving my car with the top down, and it was a little chilly out there. When you, take the, when you put the top down, it get a little chilly, so all that wind was just hitting me in the face all day. I think I got the coronavirus, guys. Or it could just be the cold because I was driving in my girlfriend's car with the top down last week. <laughs> but anyway, I'm about to do a prank on Joanne. I'm about to prank her saying I got the katatarats, you feel me? So you get the point, and then he says this. So, yeah, then this thing only three minutes, bro. Shit, I thought it was a quarter longer than that. Shit, if this coronavirus isn't 10 minutes long, I can't slap 20 mid-rolls on right, it. That's another thing. Every time I go outside, I feel like it gets worse. I feel like there's something outside in the air, bro, no cap. Shut up. Uh, I think that's all I gotta say, man. Yeah, that's all I gotta say. Let's get this thumbnail. Wait, you what? Let's get this thumbnail. Let's get this thumbnail. You're gonna leave in. You're gonna leave in you making faces for the thumbnail. You're gonna leave. You're gonna leave that part in the video. I'll see you guys in the next video. Okay. Peace. Yeah. Sure. Well, the video ended at five minutes and fifty-two seconds. How are you gonna put ten mid rolls on it? Oh, you just you just leave four minutes of black screen until you hit until you hit ten minutes. That's what you do if you're Eli Socrae. You make a fucking video where you say you think you have the coronavirus, talk about absolute nonsense bullshit for five minutes, and then do another five minutes of black screen and slap 15 minerals on it. That's the that's the YouTube strategy we're employing right now. God! <clears throat> what's good, y'all? This video of you clickbaiting your five-week-old son having the coronavirus, that's, that's probably what's good, I think. Can't get a goddamn haircut, man. You feel me, because it's goddamn World shutdown, man. It's quarantine bullshit, man. So let me save you the time. The first two minutes, he talks about not being able to get a haircut. Then he spends a full minute taking an Advil. But yeah, so anyway, as you guys can tell by the title, man, <clears throat> my son, July, man, yes, this is not clickbait. It's absolutely 100% oh, true. I would not lie about nothing like this. You wouldn't? He had the coronavirus, man. Oh, my man. God. Keyword, had. That's terrible. How do you know? Oh, you got better already? That's great. Oh, uh, yeah, he was just... Um, cry like a lot like more than he normally would we would feed him burp him change him and he would still just cry like and different times of night like weird times and stuff like that you feel me so i knew something was wrong so you mean to tell me that you know your son had the coronavirus because he cried a lot even even at night sometimes he would cry a five-week-old baby would cry sometimes so he had the got felt a little warm that's how you know he had the fucking coronavirus how are you a father? I knew Joanna would get better and I knew he would get better. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, we all got better. You feel me? So that's why you gotta just take care of yourself. Don't be scared, just have faith. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people be out here blowing everything out of proportion, making things seem worse than what it is. But in all reality, just take care of yourself 
and just have faith in God. You know what I'm saying? You're going to be fine, period. Just incredible advice. Thank you for that, Eli. Ronald Rice want to come have me locked in the crib. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to make content off of it. Simple. You feel me? So that's what it is. That's what it is. But if you guys want me to make a video basically saying how to know if you have this virus, smash the like button. Let this video get 500 to 1,000 likes and I make a video um, telling you guys how to know if you got it and what to do if you have it. Smash that like button, guys. 1,000 likes and Eli Socre over here will tell you what to do if you get the coronavirus. Yeah, like it's weird. It's like a certain times of the night we feel weird okay. shit. It's always at night, bro. Like three in the morning, four in the morning, we feeling weird for some reason. It's like, what the, like it's weird, bro. That is, that is one what of the, the, the symptoms, I think. But I've been unplugging my 5G and shit like that. And every time I unplug that 5G, what? this internet box right here, I feel better, bro. So I, I, don't, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Maybe you guys should do the same thing if you feel weird. I don't know, I'm just saying it worked for me. But anyway, stay tuned for the next video, man. <laughs> oh my God, of course. It's too perfect. It's at, it's too perfect. I unplugged my 5G internet box and I felt a little better. I don't know guys, it worked for me. I unplugged my 5G internet box. Ah, shut up! And the icing on the cake, the final two minutes of black screen to stretch to 10 minutes so you can slap mid rolls on it. Paradoxically though, this two minutes is without a doubt the most enjoyable part of the video. <laughs> so I had some notes on this how to get rid of the illness video from Eli, but I just, I can't do it. But to give, just to sum it up. Number one is, man, you guys already know the vibes, man. Take some medicines, take medicine. Now I would prefer if it's during the day, take some DayQuil. If it's at nighttime, take some NyQuil. Eli Shokray would prefer that if you get the coronavirus, if it's during the day, you take the DayQuil, but at night, to help you sleep while you're while you're fucking dying from the coronavirus, take some NyQuil. That is what Eli Socrate prefers. That is number one, guys. You know the vibes. Take some medicines. The exercise is good for the body. I've been lifting weights and all that with the corona. You know what I'm saying? I've been, I've been pushing weights. So I've been pushing pounds with the corona. You know what I'm saying? And now it's going to stop the gains, baby. So I would say work out. I know a lot of people, when you're sick, you just feel weak. You don't want to work out, man. But me, I was still working out. I don't care. Can't get out of bed? On a ventilator in the ICU? Lift some fucking weights, bitch! Make some gains! That's what Eli Socray did! Alright guys, I'm, I'm tapping out. I feel like I just got rear naked choked by Eli's immeasurable stupidity and... It's, I have to tap. You know what would make me feel better though? A bit of a challenge here. I challenge you guys to try and finish this video without cutting your eardrums out with a reciprocal saw. <laughs> you think you could do that? You, you, you know what? I take it back. I know that you couldn't complete that challenge. Humanly impossible. And I care about you guys too much to see you lose your hearing like that. <sighs> Anyways, I do appreciate you guys. And I have to apologize in advance because this, this is going to take a while. It was approximately three hours before Leon collapsed to the floor as a sweaty, exhausted mess. And the only thing that gave him the strength to get up once more was the fact that Eli Socre had over one and a half million subscribers, and although he tried to clickbait coronavirus almost ten times, couldn't even manage to pull more than 10,000 views a video. Magnificent.